Hi, Dr. Shook here. In this video, I want to talk about something that I'm commonly asked. Can Hashimoto's thyroiditis be cured? And the answer to that is no, it cannot be cured. Because that would suggest that the process is completely gone. Here's the thing. It is a genetic trigger. Once you have an autoimmune condition, which is what Hashimoto's is, you can't turn off the genes that have been turned on. So it is a genetic condition. What you absolutely can do is take the symptoms associated with the Hashimoto's thyroiditis and you can, you can take those symptoms and improve them, you know, 80 or 90 percent and significantly imp improve the person's quality of life. And what we'll, you'll see on lab testing is the appearance that, that they're in complete remission, okay, so that they're, they have no signs of Hashimoto's. That is something that is possible, but you cannot cure it. That means that it's, it's gone. It's, that is not possible. At least to our current knowledge, we don't, there's no autoimmune condition that we, can, that we can cure, but we can keep them in remission. And you do that by understanding the drivers and triggers of these autoimmune conditions. So there are all kinds of things um, that that we know trigger the uh, trigger autoimmunity, and for women they tend to develop autoimmunity at about or Hashimoto's during three different times in their life: during uh, puberty, during pregnancy, and and perimenopause. And the the changes in their hormones during these periods of time will what what we know is that it creates a shift in their immune system dominance. And I won't get into exactly what that means, but it creates it it pushes their immune system. Okay, so that push and shift in the immune system, in combination with environmental factors uh, that can be dietary, they can be um, hidden infections. Uh, there are a lot of different things that we know, environmental compounds, a lot of different things that that can be there. Um, they, they can trigger this autoimmune response. And those are very common times in a woman's life when they can develop Hashimoto's. But what I wanted to do is just go through because there's, there's a lot of mixed information out there. And I will tell you that, that resoundingly there's, there's no evidence that you can reverse it. You can't look at lab markers like TSH or your antibody levels because those aren't reflective of the condition itself. It just tells you if you have antibodies to your tissue or not. If you put the person in remission, th those can be dramatically lower, but they are not an indication of how well the condition is doing. It's really based on the person's symptoms and how they feel. The TSH levels, those vary all the time with Hashimoto's. So those are not good indicators either. I mean, it, it is a genetic condition. So you can't look at the hormones to tell if it's improved. Once it's turned on, it's on. But you can absolutely improve the person's quality of life without a question. I'm Dr. Shook. I just wanted to share that with you because that's a common question that comes up in the clinic. And, and I get asked quite frequently, you know, can you cure it? And you cannot cure any autoimmune conditions, but you can put them in such remission if your doctor's trained and understands the drivers and triggers of autoimmunity and can work with you to, to uh, unwind that process and identify your triggers, then absolutely, absolutely. That's what I've done with myself, and that's what I've done with, uh, with, with my patients and a lot of my patients. So I'm Dr. Shook. I appreciate you taking time from your day to learn more about your health. If you have any questions or you need anything from us, just give us a call and let us know. Have a great day.